Honestly, I don't even really know how to start with this video. So hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming, here with just an insanely special The Hunter Call of the Wild video. Last night I was here, still continuing with my Great One Tar grind. You know if you've been following any of my recent videos, this has been my obsession, has been trying to get some Great One Tar. And, you know, I ended up with three fabled halves in a row, but the dream Great One Tar for me was the fabled skull. And last night, finally, he showed up as Great One Tar number five. The fabled skull. He is just incredible. What? Just what an amazing beast of a creature. I mean, he is just stunning. It was absolutely insane because not last night, but the night before, my grind was going really, really well and I was feeling pretty confident about how things were going. And then I got on last night and it was like my grind had just broken. It was all acting so weird. I wasn't getting males respawning like they normally do. Everything was so weird. And then I... I thought, right, I'll go and look and see if I've had any males, like, spawn in zones that I found before and they're just not spawning back, you know, where they normally respawn. And I found a max weight estimate male in an old zone that normally just has two very small level twos in it. So I shot that male and suddenly everything seemed to go back to normal. I was getting my number of respawns, you know, that I normally get. Everything seemed fine again. And... Sure enough, a few hours later, literally in this zone, because this zone normally has two small males and then two decent sized males, and I was only getting one decent sized male. Well, after I shot the, the one that I found in the other zone, that other max weight estimate male, I went back to having two decent sized ones to shoot from this zone. And then later on, this guy spawns in this zone. It was so insane because I was literally saying, and I'm sure, you know, that there's people who will be watching this video who probably saw me talking about it, that, you know, maybe I was going to have to stop grinding because everything felt so weird and they were just acting so strange and I just, nothing was working until I went and I shot that other male that seemed to have bounced out of his normal zone to a zone that I wasn't using. And it's so weird how finicky the tar can be because as soon as I had that male back in my normal zones, everything went back to being great. And I was getting, you know, level fives and everything showing up. Everything seemed to go back to, to working just fine. And then this guy shows up and... I, I just couldn't believe it because this is the first zone that I start with like when I do a run for tar this is the starting zone and so obviously I finished a run and then exited to main menu came back in start at this zone and without even putting the binos up I could just see this huge black and white tar and I knew it wasn't a fabled half because obviously it's not got that just sort of definite half black and half white body and I could just tell that it had to either be the snow or the skull without, you know, looking through the binos. And I was like, I think it's the skull. And I put the binos up and sure enough, it's a fabled skull. I actually screamed. Like, there are people that are going to be watching this who were in call with me when this happened. I screamed. I, like, I, I started panicking as soon as I, I knew that there was a great one there. Like I said, I could see the black and white fur. I knew it was a great one. And then as soon as I put the binos up and I saw it was a skull, I just, I just screamed. I was so just in disbelief that the dream great one showed up. Like, this is, I, I've got to say, out of all of the great ones I've shot, I think this guy is my favourite. This is just for me so perfect like i i just love everything about this particular great one i think it is so incredibly cool obviously the skull markings on the face then you've got sort of the pinstriping of the the white fur down the neck and the the back of the body it's just incredible contrasting with that black fur like that jet black fur and then you've got the whitish gray eyes just what an incredible looking animal. And he's got those big horns. 
Like, that is an amazing looking combination. I, I'm i still just in shock. I I can't believe that this guy has actually shown up. I, you know, getting three fabled halves in a row, I was so sort of, I don't know. I was a bit deterred, you know, thinking, okay, maybe I, I will just never get the skull. And I was saying that I'd go for this fifth Great One Tar and I was just hoping it would be a different fur. You know, because I got the Fabled Gold as my first one, then got three Fabled Halves in a row. So I said, I'll go for a fifth one, and I just hope that it's one of the five furs I don't have. If it's not a Fabled Skull, then it's not a Fabled Skull. I'll come back to it at some point. But it was the Fabled Skull. And I can't believe it. Like, this now means that for me, tar grinding, I can just chill with it. Like, if I want to grind tar and sort of casually grind tar, then I will. You know, some days I will come out and I will shoot some tar. You know, I'm leaving all my tents and stuff in place so that I can just come and shoot some when I feel like it. But this was the animal that the whole grind for me was for, was this guy. Similar to the moose, you know, trying to get the big non-typical rack. This was the goal. This was the animal. Same with the silver fur fallow deer great one. This was the animal that this all was about for me. Ever since we first saw this this particular fur revealed, it's all been about trying to get the fabled skull for me. Like, it's just everything for me that is just so perfect. Like, I can't describe how cool this is. Whichever artist at EW designed this great one, just hats off and chef's kiss. It is just the most perfect thing. And it also reminds me of a favourite character of mine from a, another game series. I love Call of Duty, especially the Modern Warfare um, editions, and I love Ghost from COD. And a lot of people, when we saw this fur get revealed, said it's it looks like Ghost from COD. Like, it's almost like his spirit animal. And it just, it just made it so much more perfect for for me and I've always had an obsession with especially skulls like I'm a biology nerd but skulls are one of my favorite things they're just so incredible and so diverse amongst all of the animal species in the world and I just love love them I think they're so so cool and I've you know had the privilege to work on a lot of different animal skulls and you know cleaning them and actually getting to process them and so having a fur that's called the Fabled Skull, literally this is just the fur for me. This is the perfect Great One. And like I said, I think this guy is now by far my favourite Great One I have ever had the privilege to lay eyes on. Look at this guy. Look at just how clean that fur is. He is just absolutely magnificent. Now... After literally like two and a half hours, I decided it was finally time to take a shot. And we are taking him here with the 270 Stradivarius, which is, again, one of my favourite guns in the game because I love the the engravings and everything on it. It's just so incredibly beautiful. And I thought, you know, that that was the perfect gun to take such an incredibly beautiful Great One Tar with. Unfortunately, he died in the rocks there, but... Claiming him, you can see everything went to plan. We get the music, he has the Great One medal, everything is okay. This is always the big sigh of relief moment for me. No matter how well I feel a shot has gone, until I hear the music, until I see the Great One medal pop up, I'm always just a little bit freaked out. Like, I will check and triple check and just check and check again that... I'm using an ethical weapon and that I'm zeroed for the right distance and all of those things. But until I pick the animal up, I am always freaked out that I've done something wrong. And it's just a huge sigh of relief moment, especially on one as special as this. Honestly, I do not have the words really to describe how thrilled I am with this trophy. Legitimately one of my absolute favourite animals I have ever had the privilege and fortune and luck and just all of the things to ever see and let alone harvest in this game. Just what an animal. Like, it's been so much work with these tar. Like, do not get me wrong, 
as much as there is, you know, luck that goes into getting these things, it's a lot of work. I, you know, I would say I'm probably like 150 plus hours, probably more than that, into just grinding tar and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of kills just grinding tar trying to work these animals out trying to get my map herd managed because i have done that basically my version of doing herd management is just as level twos or level ones show up i just leave them that's all i do i just don't shoot small stuff as it pops up and then eventually i end up with a few zones that have a few good size animals in it and then i just work with those and that's exactly what i've been doing on this grind it takes a while doing it like that but I feel it's almost a bit more organic and, you know, it, it just, that's how I prefer to do it. I just leave animals as they show up if they're really, really small. Just shoot the biggest ones over and over until eventually I'm only working with a limited handful of animals. And it ends up working really well and it gets really efficient once it gets to that point. And it has got pretty efficient, I feel, this grind. And yes, I know there's a lot of people that are wanting me to make a guide. I do want to make a guide. I am like looking at trying to make a guide, but I am being extremely careful, as I've said in, you know, multiple comment responses, because these animals are so finicky. You know, like I was talking about at the start of the video, this grind was going so, so well, not last night, the night before, and then literally came off of the game and then got back on it last night and then everything seemed to have changed and I had to go and work out what had changed and why it was acting so weird and then things went back to normal and then a great one showed up so there's a lot that goes into it and I'm just very careful about making sure if I put any information out there that it is the right information I will just say if you are wanting to do a tar grind go and run around in tar territory as much as possible go during the different feed times try and find as many zones as you possibly can that's my biggest tip and don't be sort of like locked into just using one time of day you know because they feed throughout the day at different times so don't just get stuck at only going in the you know the early morning window try different times of day and try different places and see you know because i found that you'll have to show up in some places at one time of day and then not at another time of day it's not like they stay in the same areas so definitely you know exploring which can be really time consuming but it's one of the most important aspects of this grind i feel is actually hunting around and trying to locate as many areas for the species as possible but just what an animal i mean the eyes are something i can't get over eyes are such an important thing when it comes to making an animal feel alive in games like this the eyes really matter you know they say eyes are the window to the soul and they, they do matter so much in a game like this if the eyes don't look real the animal doesn't feel real and the piercing sort of whitish gray eyes on this incredible fabled skull it's one of my favorite aspects of the entire animal it just it looks amazing and it's just incredible to look at what a beast of a great one tar almost max weight as well it's just just an insane trophy for me like i am beyond thrilled so i'm not gonna you know continue focusing necessarily on grinding for great one tar i want to go and hunt tigers and snow leopards and do some more multiplayer but i am going to shoot tar when i feel like shooting tar and if another great one shows up then that'll be awesome but this was the the trophy i really wanted but i would still love to get things like the fabled scar because that's a really beautiful beautiful great one too the latte is gorgeous the snow is gorgeous you know so i am definitely still going to end up shooting some tar but we have gotten the animal that for me is the ultimate great one in this game this ever since i i saw this guy like i said this was the great one for me what an amazing incredible and just so so fantastic and special trophy i'm so so incredibly thrilled but 
that is going to be it for this video so thank you so so very much for watching and for all of your support and you know all of the the wishes of luck and everything you've all been so incredibly kind and i am incredibly grateful for all of it so thank you all so so very much for that as always and i will see you in the next video thank you